guys Jagveer Singh back with another video of Katia V5 and in this video I will continue with the practice design beginner series with part 6 on this side on the right hand side of the screen as you can see so this is going to be part 6 if you haven't watched the last five parts last five parts then please go ahead and watch them first and then come here and continue with me so let's get started First of all, I'll go to File, New, Drag to Part. It's going to be part number six. So click OK. There we go, we have the access system. So I can see that this part on the right, this is symmetrical around, around the mid plane. So let's say if this is the plane, so this half of it is symmetrical from here. So what I can do is I can make one half and basically mirror it on the other side. So in order to have this as a mirroring element, I have to make the sketch on the top plane. So there we go. I'm just going to have a look on the isometric side point of view as well. It looks good. Alrighty. There we go. All right. Okay, isometric looks something like that. And we want to draw it on this particular axis. So we can see. That's very interesting, isn't it? I just try to have fun sometimes. So, so yeah. So I can start making the profile. So I already know that, okay, first of all, I need to make circles. The middle circle is through all. It looks like that. Then I have some other features that I need to. So yeah, first things first, either you can start with the base plate first, try to make the base plate first, and then go with the extrusion of this particular cylinder, or you can do one way or the other. I will do with just the cylinders first. So I will make simply two circles with the same origin and I'm going to double click on the dimension and give the dimension as required so one is 50 as I can already see this is 50 which, I, which is the outside one and the inner one says diameter 20 bore diameter is 6 which is 6 deep so that is a that is one another thing that I need to consider but before that I need to make sure what is the inner diameter right here which goes all the way through so it says diameter 20, counterbore, diameter 30. So the so this diameter, as you can see, this one is 30, and the inside one is going to be 20. Alright, so through all is 20, and 30 is at a depth of 6. So I'm going to make the through all one, because that makes more sense. So through all is 20. I'm going to make two circles, one is 20, one is 50, the uh, most outside one. And I'm simply going to extrude it or pad it in this sense. So I'm going to pad it so I have the total distance of 28 right here for the cylindrical part. And I have the thickness of 10 for this particular reference right here. You can see, I'm just going to quickly erase it. So yeah, so 10. And 28 so which is 38 right so 38 it is so I can make another profile which is going to be the 6 inch deep or 6 millimeter deep it's metric obviously so in this case this is going to be 6 so in millimeter, the diameter is going to be 30, which is going to be at the depth of, so I'm going to use pocket, depth of six. Perfect, looks good. All right, so similarly, I will just check the isometric view, how it looks like, I will go to the top plane, or if not, I can just simply choose the surface at the bottom and make a sketch of the padding itself. I just like to use the isometric view just to have a look how it looks like. 
so that I get an idea and the way it goes. So I can simply come here and make half of the profile right here. Or what I can do is I can simply make it something like that. So I have the radius to be 15 on the side. Okay, let me clarify some of the things with this. So I'm just going to make half of the profile. I'm not going to indulge with most of the part. So I'm going to make half of this, including half of the circle itself. So this is the arc. There we go, right? I'm going to make this tangent to the other one, tangency. Click OK. Then I'm going to make tangent of this to the right, to the outside of the part. And I'm going to project this to make sure and make it as a construction element. And there we go. Quick trim. I can simply quick trim to remove it. So this is the axis. I'm going to use just as my reference and as I can see this is attached with the maximum height so this point is not fixed anywhere in terms of angle it's fixed here it looks something like that and I have to put a radius of 15 on this side which looks something like that and then the center distance is going to be 35 as you can see right here center to center the center of this till here is 35 looks good and also we have a hole so before i do that i can simply make this sketch and just mirror it around this axis so now i can make one hole right here make a small circle and dimension it to be how much is the hole it says two holes of 12 diameter right here this is right here so 12 diameter i have that so i'm just going to simply copy it or select it and then use a mirror about this axis that looks good i'm going to make this back to normal sketch instead of construction I'm going to delete these two lines because those are additional lines that I don't need right here and yeah basically that looks good it's connected all the way through I just need to pad this just to make sure if there are any openings it looks like it's a perfect close sketch I'm just going to pad it and the distance of the pad is going to be the other way because we have already added right so it's going to be reverse direction of uh, how much is it it was 10 there we go so it looks something like that which looks good enough yes it looks something like that and also we have a small circle if we don't forget this very important very crucial i'm just going to get rid of all the dimensions right here and yes focus on the one that we are working on right now and which is this one right here which is six right so i'm going to make that on this plane right here as i can see it's in the middle right in the middle so the, the axis is going to snap automatically vertically and dimension are six in diameter six diameter and then the height itself is 12 from the top right here from here till here is 12. there we go looks good exit out so i can simply pocket it out on both the sides i could have also made a hole i will show you how to do that as well so up to last and then i will say mirror or dimension mirror extent and just increase the dimension by a lot a big number so it looks something like that right and what i would personally recommend as well i mean whichever way you guys prefer you could have also used 
some other way to make holes instead of making holes this way what i would have also done is you can also simply make hole let's say with the hole feature i'm pretty sure we can i never tried it but i've heard that we can so the purpose of this thing is we need to use the position sketch where we show that where we want the whole location to be so i click on position sketch it takes me exactly the same way it took me before i simply place a point at where exactly i want my plane to be all right so let's say if i make a point here and i have to dimension this thing all right so let's say if i have a hole right here all right and i exit out it's not going to make any difference because that was a construction element but in this you can see it's automatically snapping to a different location which i don't want to have so what i will do is i can simply make a point and dimension it with respect to it and dimension this with respect to this or the other way my bad top to the point goes at 12 so this is 12 and it's going to snap on this particular line right in the middle as well so i'm going to make this as a construction element take this as a construction element the reference element just make it as a reference and what i can do is I can simply, if I want to, I can stab this point coincidental with this right here. Looks good. And make sure the point itself is. That's weird. I mean, this thing should take the place of here automatically. Oh, I see. Now I see. Now I see. Now I see. Okay. Vertical dimension to be zero. And same goes. If I want to, I, I could have simply coincided both of them. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, that's the thing. I can delete this and automatically snaps it. I'm going to exit out. I can have blind or whatever the dimension you want to be. Let's say 50, right? Oh, the diameter, my bad. The diameter is 6. Depth is. Depth is what? <coughs> depth could be any. So, direction reverse. I could have done both ways. Simple thread anchor, there are different types of holes as well if you want to, up to last, or if not up to last, then I can also make it any other way as well, up to next, up to plane, up to whatever I want to. So, if I want to simply offset it, let's say, I know that my depth is going to be this particular way. I could have simply made a hole this way or simply make a plane and do the offset of both sides on the both sides and whichever way works for you 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 could simply use it it doesn't really matter so whichever way you, you guys think works for you i personally would use a simple plane because I could have simply used um, mid plane instead of using all the way so a simple hole just like I initially showed you and then make the dimension as 6 this was my like this is my personal preference the hole I just wanted to show you how you could have used it and this one is dimension from the top till the bottom so from the top right in the middle it's 12 so there we go so now i can simply pocket it to all up to last or simply mirror extent 
mirror extent and just add as many dimension as I want. It could be 50 as I used, or like whatever X amount that you can penetrate both sides from. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for upcoming videos. And I will continue with the series and continue with more and more parts, something like that. And I hope you are going to watch all of them and share it with your friends as well thank you once again and take it easy bye